I'm digital artist Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'll be reviewing the Cintiq 24HD. The Cintiq 24HD is a really good drawing tablet with a built-in screen. The screen has really good color, very accurate color. It has an Adobe RGB 1998 color gamut, which basically means that it has a really wide range of colors, and your artwork's going to look really accurate on this. It's nice to be able to work on this big screen. You have all this space to move your arm around and really draw. You can rotate it around and flatten it if you want it to be flat. You can crop it up on your desk upright. You can really do just about anything you want to do with it. I've got it kind of integrated into my desk here with my TV so that I can use both. And it has a pressure sensitive pen with 2048 levels of pen pressure, which gives you nice thick and really thin lines. There's an eraser. If you wanted to flip it over and erase, you can do that. There's pen tilt, so you can control the way that the brush works. You can draw with the side of the pen or with the front of the pen. There's a whole bunch of shortcut buttons that you can set to do just about anything. And I've got this set up to where I can work without having to really use my keyboard. For instance, if I wanted to pull up my on-screen keyboard, I could type in some stuff here, turn it off, I can hide my palettes, I can pan the page around, I can zoom in and zoom out really easily, I've got some shortcuts for control and alt and shift and all that stuff if I want to really quickly just clear the canvas. But this is a really nice tablet. I thought that I wouldn't like it as much at first since I've used tablets that don't have screens on them. I thought my hand might get in the way, but my hand doesn't really get in my way. In fact, I find that it's actually much easier for me to draw quicker and more detailed because it's a more natural drawing experience, so I'm very impressed by that. The color, again, is a very good selling point for this because I've had a lot of hassles getting accurate color on either of my two monitors that I have, and this gives really accurate color. It's very nice to not have to worry about that. There are replacement tips. Your tip will eventually wear out due to friction. There's nothing you can do about that. It's better the tip wears out than your screen, right? because you can replace these. And in your pen stand here, if you unscrew it, voila, you have a whole bunch of these replacement tips. This should last you a long time. I mean, I draw a lot, and it takes me a long time to wear out these tips. I highly recommend the Cintiq. There's also the Cintiq Touch, which has touchscreen capabilities, and I can see that being really handy because when I get this on-screen keyboard, I'd really like to just be able to go in here and type in what I need to do and then hit it and make it go away. Uh, but this isn't the touch version. Uh, the touch version will let you touch and rotate the page and zoom in and zoom out and all kinds of cool stuff. But uh, they're both 24 inches wide, they're both HD, they both have really nice color and basically the same kind of buttons and pen and everything. The difference is just the touch. So there you go, that's a quick review and demonstration of the Wacom Cintiq 24 HD drawing tablet. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to get access to more tablet reviews and digital art tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.